Where is the Princess of Wales? It's a question that sent social media into a frenzy in recent weeks and led to a number of conspiracy theories. It all started with an announcement that Kate Middleton had been admitted to hospital for a planned abdominal surgery. And on this show last weekend, we aired a photo posted by Kate's husband, Prince William, celebrating Mother's Day, seemingly putting an end to the rumors. But only hours later, the photo itself garnered speculation over the possibility it might not be legitimate. Joining us now to break down all the drama and speculation is Shannon McDonald, Associate Professor of Communication uh, Arts at the University of Waterloo. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. So as we just mentioned, shortly after the princess had what the palace calls routine abdominal surgery, there's been speculation surrounding Kate's recovery process. We know the palace is often tight-lipped with confidential information, which isn't new, but often that information doesn't turn into a massive controversy like this one. How did this happen? I think this was definitely a right place, right time kind of moment. Um, it's a kind of slow news cycle in terms of pop culture and celebrity sort of news. And so this, um, because we know the royal family is closely scrutinized by the global public. And we know that at the same time, um, this in particular, Kate is a big figure for the new rebranding of the monarchy. So anything that's going to happen around her is going to get extra attention. And I think it's just at a moment when people are looking to be distracted. And this is a great form of distraction. There's a social kind of gathering where people are sharing theories. And so there's a kind of a sociality to it that I think also makes it quite popular to be sharing your ideas. And that's how things go viral. Yeah. And only af hours after the photo showing Kate and her children celebrating Mother's Day was posted last week, speculation ran rampant about alleged photoshopping. Shortly after that, the Princess of Wales says she was experimenting at home with editing her own photos. Do you find that likely or believable? I do not. No, I think that that in some ways was a, it's a surprising twist because generally the palace's PR team is really strong in getting messages across in ways that are going to be believed and digested by the public. Um, this is very obviously photoshopped. Um, and I think that, you know, it was really great that the Associated Press and other news outlets were like, no, there's concerns. There's a lot of concerns here. And so they pulled the photo. Um, and so, no, I, I do not believe um, the message that came out across uh, from from Catherine herself uh, in, in that tweet was was um, convincing in any way. Why is the palace or prince and princess themselves still not put all the rumors to rest? And you believe she will, in fact, attend Easter events? I mean, again, it is a really tightly run ship with the uh, palace PR. And so I don't know how much leeway they actually have. Um, and I think that everybody's a little bit cautious these days because of, you know, with the death of Queen Elizabeth, we're moving into a new era. And at the same time, there's been a lot of tension with um, Harry and Meghan leaving uh, the royal duties and how that's pitting different couples against each other. And so they might just be in a moment of not really knowing how to do this right, and especially in a changing landscape where people's opinion in public can change on a dime. And so maybe they're just still trying to assess their ways of doing this in the best possible way. I don't know whether she will attend Easter. I think that she in some ways is duty bound. I think that she's a public figure who doesn't have a lot of options for privacy. And, you know, we can talk about the the, the problems of that, um, but I don't think she has much of a choice but to show up for Easter if, if she can. All right, and on a bigger picture, what does this entire saga say about the state of the world, both in terms of seeing is no longer believing and a lack of trust in reputable sources? I mean, that's the question and that's the really interesting question, I think. Um, so we're in a, difficult moment because we know that we have new technologies coming in that are allowing us to really produce believable fake images. Uh, and with the rise of AI, this becomes even more of a problem. And so there is a rising distrust in the public. And I think that's actually a good thing because it means that we're critically asking, is this real? And we're not believing everything we see. Um, so, you know, I think this just happens again, right place, right time to be coming out at the exact moment when public conversations around trusting images produced digitally is at a, as a fever pitch. All right, Shannon McDonald, Associate Professor of Communication Arts at the University of Waterloo. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much.